blessings family coming back on with another video praises and honor and glory unto the most high Yah acknowledging and giving honor unto the Holy Spirit which is wisdom I just shared this with my Facebook page it says the most high decides who get or not get coronavirus cry out for mercies put pride aside and to read 2nd Ezra 15 and also Psalms 91 read slowly so let's go to 2nd Ezra to I mean 2nd Ezra and 15 let's start here where it says 5 behold saith the Almighty I will bring plagues upon the world the sword the famine death and destruction for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled therefore saith the Almighty I will I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves behold the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me and the souls of the just complain continually and therefore saith the Almighty I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them behold my people is led as a flock to the slaughter I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before so speaking of there were a time we were there and he's going to bring us out again as before and will destroy all the land thereof hallelujah Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Almighty shall bring upon it they that till the ground shall mourn for their seed shall fall through the blasting and hail and with a fearful consultation consolation woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands for there shall be sedition among them and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings or nor prince. So that would speak of like the uh, kings, which is the presidents or the vice presidents. And the concourse, I mean, and the course of their action shall stand in their power. A man shall decide to desire, I'm sorry, to go into a city and shall not be able. Is that what we would call um, martial law where they will not allow you to leave a city or go into another for because of their pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid and shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their house houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation Behold, saith God, the Almighty, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east, and from Leviticus, to turn themselves themself one against another and repay the things that they have done to them, like as they did I'm sorry, like as they do yet this day unto my chosen, so will I do also and recompense in their bosom, thus saith the Almighty. So we're going to move on and you're welcome to read the remaining of uh, Second Ezra. We're going to move on to Psalms. Ninety one. says here starting at the second verse I will say of the Almighty he is my refuge and my fortress my Almighty 
in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl and from the nuisance pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Let's go back up to the first verse here. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So I wanted to bring this for a family. And as I, like I said, share with my uh, Facebook page, I want to also share it with you all. Praise it to the Most High, Yah. Blessings unto and honor unto his holy name hallelujah thank you father glory be unto your holy name giving you praises and honor glory hallelujah thank you thank you father thank you father thank you father is that you know no matter what family father's in complete control he decides who will get this virus or any uh, plagues or any uh, thing that comes upon this earth. He will decide. He will determine. But you want to be in the right path. You want to repent. I feel the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your protection. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father. So family, we want to hide in his secret place. Said, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That's not about bringing fear to anyone. It's about you understanding what this is all about. You getting closer with your Creator, seeking His face, and being unto Him as He called you as a vessel. If He called you to be on the forefront, if He called you to do something to glorify him and to be a vessel unto his people, you need to do that. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Praises to your holy name. Giving you honor and glory. Honor and glory. Honor and glory. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Family, I just wanted to see the Most High wanted me to say anything else. I tell you, family. Mm, beautiful. Take heed. Take heed, family. Blessings to you. Shalom.